Now taking a quick look at the accessories, they've given us a Sony branded USB wall adapter. This is the UK version, obviously. They've also given us a micro USB cable, and this phone does support MHL, uh, which will allow you to output video over the USB connector using the right adapter. This is Sony branded, so if you look in there, you'll see Sony branding. We also have a pair of Sony headphones. These are in-ear headphones with a remote and microphone, and they've also given us some ear tips to make sure that they fit our ears correctly. And they've given us some literature, so we have a quick start guide, which tells us about some of the buttons and features of the phone. And we also have some of the standard information, such as warranty information and some of the compliance information. All right, so let's get back to the Xperia Z. And on the back, you can see we have that very glossy edge-to-edge -edge glass panel with the Xperia branding toward the center. You also have an NFC label there, just letting us know that the NFC sensor is right behind that portion of the back panel. You also have your 13 megapixel autofocusing camera with HDR video. Right below that is the LED flash and you have your microphone. Now along the top you'll find a covered port. As you can see along the side every panel here is sort of a blue, kind of a dark blue translucent panel. It looks very nice. You can see as it picks up the light it reflects that blue color. But uh, behind this flap here is your headphone jack, so you can see that right there. There's your headphone jack, you can cover that up. Actually, if you look inside, you can see this kind of rubber, rubberized, so it does, perform, it does create a nice seal around the jack. Along the left side, you'll find these two connection points for accessories like a dock or charger. Up here, we'll find a door hiding the micro SD card slot. Now, this holds up to 32 gig cards, so not 64 gigs in this case. So they do include 16 gigs of storage in the phone, but you can expand it up to 32 gigs with the SD card slot. You also have another door here hiding the micro USB connection. So there you go. And uh, that's one way to charge. As you can see, we also have that rubber seal around the doors to keep it nice and airtight. Now, there's not much along the bottom, but uh, at the corner, you actually find a hook for a lanyard. You also find your speaker grill. Here is your volume rocker up and down. They also call this a zoom uh, rocker. So if you want to zoom in on your photos, that's a feature built into the OS as well. You also have your uh, power switch here. So that's your sleep, wake, and power on and off button. A very nice button with that chrome design. You also have your SIM tray here. So I've already taken out the SIM tray because it's kind of hard to get out of there. But there is your SIM tray. So all you have to do is load up your SIM, slide it in, and you're good to go. Just seal up the door. And taking a close look at the front of the phone, you can see we have our earpiece, which is mirrored by the mouthpiece at the bottom. Up here we have our 2.2 megapixel front-facing camera, which is capable of recording video at 1080p. So that's better than most cameras I've seen, or front-facing cameras I've seen, which usually stop at 720p. We also have our ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, and an LED notification light. Now at the bottom, you won't find any backlit capacitive buttons. In this case, all of those will appear on the screen. All right, so let's go ahead and start this up for the first time. I'm just going to hold that power button. So while it's starting up, let me just talk about this display. So this is a 1080p display over 5 inches, which gives us a pixel density of 441. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we got here. We're going to set this up for the first time. So you just swipe up. You can either swipe up or swipe down to unlock the phone. There we go. We're going to go for English, the United States. Should be down here. Click Done. All right, so it just wants us to read the warranty. We're going to agree to that. And wants me to insert the SIM, which we're going to skip for now. We're going to accept the data disclaimer. We're going to accept the usage info. And that's all there is to it. So we're already set to go. So you can see we have several home screens here. Now I'm going to do a full 